Hey guys, what's up? Back with more Dark Souls. All right. Um, I actually been playing a lot on my own, uh, and I kind of been scrubbing it up. So you won't get to see me scrub it up so much, but uh, you'll you'll just get to see the game, I guess. <laughs> and we got a dragon. Oh crap. It's really spontaneous, I guess. Like one minute you'll be doing something normal, and the next minute, boom, you're you're fighting crap all over the place. You're you're getting killed. Um, honestly, this game has more to it than meets the eye. It really does. Um, I haven't really tested out a bunch of stuff on it, but I know there's like a whole like integrated PvP thing. Like it almost feels like you're playing an MMO, to be honest. Uh an MMO because you know you have different classes, you get to pick a class, you go adventuring. I mean you're not really doing quests or anything, but eh. Let's see, do I equip this? No, I don't think I do. I have like four people going. Uh one of my friends came over to my house because I told him about the game and he tried it out. So I'm playing the character that he made. I'm playing this guy. I am playing my knight. And then I also made a cleric because I always play clerics. It, it doesn't matter what game you're in. I, I always play clerics. Every day. All day, every day. So we're going to try and take on these guys, I guess. I never really got the hang of these guys because they don't just like they don't come at you like thanks to my quick ninja reflexes caught that one but uh... they're kinda different because they don't come at you you have to like provoke them sometimes you have to attack them uh... And sometimes you have to like turn your back to them and then it's, it's just weird i don't know i'm not a big fan of these guys but, uh, it's alright, because we took him down fairly easily. Oh, this is hilarious. Alright. Uh, do I just do this? Yeah, I just, okay, watch this. I just try and go, and because there's like a texture box there, or there's a hit box there, I can't, I can't get down the stairs. So that's pretty funny. Oh, and then I aggro that guy. I don't know, but uh, there's a merchant down here, so you can talk to him, do some stuff, do some stuff, and there's that guy, there that guy is. So there's an axe guy just kind of hiding out here, chilling, you know, took care of him, not a big deal, not a big deal, but yeah, let's go talk to the merchant, merchant it up. Well now, All right. you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> All right. He has a very creepy laugh, to be honest. Like I, I. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of <laughs> skipped all that because uh, you, you don't want to see me do that. But he has some uh, good stuff to offer. Um, he's got all sorts of like weapons and stuff. Uh, he has a short bow, if, which if you want to get the Drake sword, I hope it's <laughs> the best sword that I I know of so far. I still use it on my knight, and he's like level 40 or something. But um, it's the best sword that I know of. And you have to get a, uh... How oh, did I not... Okay. What a waste of time. Go and fall off a cliff. Oh, is this... <laughs> I think it is. But, um... Yeah, if you want to get that, you need to buy a bow from him. And, uh... I think I'm kind of stupid here. Because I don't think I got a bow... It said, it said try attacking. I don't know if you could read that, so I guess I'm not. Yeah. Sadly, I'll teach you, you lousy I start attacking him because I think he'll just. Yulia! I thought Yulia! anyway he would have just given me all my like crap 
or giving me all of his crap, you know. He has a very poisonous sword, so if you decide to attack him, make sure you watch out for that. But yeah, he gives you humanity and... Oh, orange guidance soapstone. You see all those little, like, things that are on the ground? That's what makes those, pretty much. And, uh, you can leave, like, player notes and stuff. I didn't realize that for the longest time. But, uh, yeah, and I was trying out a double shield thing there. Kinda weird. I don't know. Could work. I guess. Maybe. Not really. Alright. Let's roll on out. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I got my battle axe. It's weird, because, like, I was just testing it out, I think. And it, it, like, I like how the weapons feel different. Whoa, lost some audio there. But, uh, I like how the weapons feel different. Because when you have a sword, you can just, like, attack with it, and you don't lose, like, you don't stagger or anything. But when you attack with, like, a giant axe, you get, you get, you, like, stagger, and you, it takes a minute to, like, bring it back up and stuff. So, I, I like that. Because it adds, it adds another element of diversity to the game, really. Um, let's see. Oh. And I, you can bet I was happy when I was like, Oh! One hit kills? Sounds good to me. That's right. But yeah, um, until you get the Drake Sword... I think there's a club that you can get um, that's better than this, than the axe. That's the best, excuse me, that's the best uh, one-handed weapon that I could think of. So I just kind of got that one or dropped down here. Alrighty, righty, righty. Let's, I think we're going to go rest at the bonfire really quickly. On our way there, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna save at this bonfire, and uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.